This video is sponsored by Deep Cut Studios. For a wide range of fantastic gaming resources such as battle mats, dice trays and pre-painted bases, check out the description below. Hi guys, welcome back to TNG Productions. I'm Chris and today we're joined by... David! David! And we'll be playing David. We are playing the wonderfully whimsical uh, Moonstone. Multi-award winning. Multi-award winning. Moonstone. It's game three of the campaign we're doing. This is the, the grand final. Potentially best loser. Potentially, Potentially best yeah, winner. yeah, looking at where the table stands yeah. at the moment. It could it go, could go either way. way. So I'm bringing my Goblin King troop, you're bringing... I'm playing my Goblin Pirates. Uh, We're having a <laughs> Goblin off. <laughs> it's about time. Uh, so yeah, we'll go straight to the pre-match and get this underway. And here we are all set up for today's game. Uh, once again, we're using six model troops because mm -hmm. that's the proper and fun way to play it. Uh, it's a very special day today. It's actually Shig Day, the 17th of Rossitar. It's what? Which is a special someone's birthday. No. Uh, but, so in my croup, uh, in my croup? So in my troop, I've got Doug as always, Shabaroon as always, and since I last played, there's actually been a coronation. So now we can proclaim that King Cuthbert Stonefrog, seventh of his name, ruler of the bestest isle, seer of the seen things, holder of the sacred cockerel crown, chosen of the feathered one, and most flatulent among us, has got a big chair that he sits on and is carried around by. Yeah, damn followers. right. So still the same in terms of rules. It's just a lovely limited edition model they brought out to celebrate it's his so coronation. It's so pretty. So pretty. The one and only king. Uh, I've got Herbert once again. I've got the mortician and I've got the new model who's the tax collector. She does interesting things with moonstones, taking them off you, not letting you move if you've got them, basically monkeying around with them. I'm going to stay away from her you administrative abilities. In terms of upgrades, uh, I've still got the Magic Rebot Classics on Herbert. I've still got the Troll Knuckles on the Mortician. And I've given Doug Spiteful, so if he wounds you, he restores a wound. Nice bit of regeneration. What about your guys, Dave? So my scurvy crew um, has got in it the same as last time. Buy one new addition. So basically, we've got El Capitano, we've got the Powder Monkey, we've got Swash, we've got Swiggity, and we're bringing back the big cannon in Ribald. Peggy had enough of the pirate's incompetence. Um, <laughs> she has left the troop, and she's been replaced by Krusty Balboa. Nice. Who puts a little bit more melee-centric uh, slide to my troop. Uh, in terms of my upgrades, Swiggity's bringing his trusty shovel still to help him dig out those stones a bit quicker. Ribald's got his pirate hat on, so that basically means he's going to get some additional energy because he now becomes a goblin pirate. Um, so if he sticks close to the Capitan, El Capitano, he is going to benefit from that. And finally, Swash has brought an enchanted weapon with him, um, which will allow him to ignore your passive abilities when he's making those melee strikes. That sounds nice. So we'll get set up and we'll come back at the start of turn one. And here we are all deployed. Today we're fighting on the sandy beaches of Southport. Ironically, <laughs> where we are in real life too. Just south of the village of Bumbleton, uh, the Goblin King's got rumblings that there's some pirates who haven't paid their taxes. And uh, the pirates are coming to plunder those lovely moonstones away yeah. from the Goblin King and his greed. His greed. Pay the tithe. No! <laughs> so there's four moonstones lovingly spread out along the centre line. There's one hidden just over here. No, there. just here behind Swiggity, uh, uh, two. And then there's two just near the tax collector and Doug over here, a four and a three. So we rolled off. I got the early bird and chose this side, which uh, means you've got initiative. Uh, yeah, the initiative with the bonuses to the rolls. So we'll go first activation of turn one, which will be the pirates. Let's do it. So first activation of the game, uh, Powder Monkey's gonna go. So if you're wondering why there are random giant mushrooms on the board, Herbert's been growing them. Um, so he's played his Gribble Bog campaign card to sprout some growths. Powder Monkey's gonna go. Um, the start of his activation, he's gonna play one of his campaign cards. He's gonna play Pirate's Booty. Uh, which basically means if any of my pirates have a moonstone, we don't slough it from the slow carry rule, uh, which is great for the remainder of the game. So Powder Monkey is going to take his jog, he's going to step twice, he's going to spend the one to harvest that moonstone to get the game underway. Well, I'm going to start how I mean to go on with Shabaroon. Catastrophe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, here we go. So he's going to spend two to do his Goblin Mischief six inch pull. So I flip a card for everyone and we see what happens. So we'll go left to right. Uh, green gives X energy, pink gives one energy. Catastrophes are nasty. 
Right, tax collector first. <laughs> <laughs> it was inevitable. It was inevitable. Inevitable. So, two wounds on the tax collector. I literally asked you if you wanted to cut No, <laughs> and I said, no, I'll, uh, I'll see what fate brings. Doug. Oh, three. man. <laughs> oh, man. This deck hates you. Shabaroon himself. Oh, Big. Yeah. Okay, energy. Goblin King. Pink, you'll gain an energy. Hey! I mean, how many more catastrophes are in this deck? One more. One more. Okay, here we go then. It's coming. Herbert Growbottom. Blue, nothing. Hey. And the Mortician. Pink, one energy. Could have been worse. Could, could have, have been gone all three. A lot worse. Um, then let's go with... We had a tactical cut there while I thought about my life decisions. <laughs> 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 and um, Shabaroon's got to do some healing now, so he's going to spend three to try and transcombobulate uh, Doug, because Doug's up front and is, is looking kind of not too healthy. So I'm looking for a blue three or a pink three here, uh, and I will put down neither. <laughs> <laughs> Worth saying. I had all three catastrophes in my hand. Oh, well, man. Didn't I? And I would have called you a liar because I had both of oh, those blues. Yeah, I don't like this deck. Let's you play with another just one. Just jog because that's safe. Yeah, <laughs> I will. You can do that without injuring yourself. Can you play Moonstone without flipping any cards at all? Because I think that's how I need to go. I'm going to jog over here. And that is Shabaroon done. So El Capitano is going to go now. And he's literally just going to take his jog. He'll step twice. A step twice again, just be in base contact with that Moonstone. Let's claim that middle of the board. Yeah. Time to go with the tax collector, I think. She's um, spotted all these pirates disembarking from their little boat and she's uh, said, hello, HM Customs and Revenue. <laughs> yeah. Anything to declare? <laughs> Nothing at all. She's on five <laughs> now. Um, she's she's going to spend two to pick up this Moonstone that's next to her, which means she's now slow. And she's going to slowly jog just a little bit towards the king, but more importantly, towards the mortician. <laughs> I'm, say, I'm, a, I'm working administration. <laughs> this isn't for me. Uh, and I'll sit on one energy just in case a giant cannon wielding troll walks towards her. And that'll do for the tax collector. So nice, simple activation again for me. We're going to go with Swash. Um, we need to get him into combat quickly as humanly possible. I no. found in the last two games he hasn't done enough of the stabby stab. The Goblin King's got to be a noble, hasn't he? Uh, yeah, he's a noble. He's the noblest of nobles. <laughs> Swash nobles. Yes, that, that is good to know. So he'll jog, he'll Some take three steps. <laughs> ah. Take three steps. That's his utilization of his energy um, and the end of his activation. Time for Doug to go. Um, I'm really looking forward to this activation. Nothing will go wrong. He's going to jog to the other side of this and start trying to dig up these moonstones. But obviously, because he's a big dog, he has digger. So when he takes a harvest action, he flips a card instead. So let's flip the first one, see what happens. Oh, two. oh. That's all right. So it reduces it to two depth. Da -da 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 then we'd shuffle that one back in and flip another card. Two again. two again. So he picks it up, picks up a four depth moonstone off two cards. I was not prepared for that. The case person. is broken. I know. So he's now slow. He's got two left and he doesn't really know what to do with it now. Uh, he could charge, but I think I'll just reposition to the right slightly by two. And just try and get a bit of cover from that barrel. Maybe, maybe not. But that is Doug all done. So in my next activation, I'm going to go with the big cannon wielding ribald. Unfortunately, he can't take that big cannon behind him with, but he does have one mounted on his head. So we'll have to use that one for the game. So he'll take his jog. He is slow, so he only jogs the two inch. And then he'll step twice to bring himself out just next to that growth there and position himself to take some shots, hopefully next turn. Time for a big activation then. Uh, so the king's coming to collect. He's gonna jog, not the full four, I'll just go nicely to here, within two inches of the tax collector, and two inches of Doug. <laughs> so I'll spend one to say, gimme, and take the moonstone off the tax collector, and I'll spend one to say, gimme, to Doug, 
and take the moonstone off him as well. Because the king. Because he's the king. Wants his birthday presents, David. He wants all the stones. Then I'm going to spend two, two, rule the roost, whack dog on the head, deal two energy to him, and give him two damage. And he gets to activate immediately after the Goblin King's finished. Knocks him down to. Knocks him down to four left. Mm. Um, so that's interesting, isn't it? <laughs> So that's the king done really. So Doug immediately makes a chain activation uh, and I will play my other campaign card, Miniature Magic. Oh. Which lets me place him anywhere within six inches of his current position. And having measured, six inches gets me just to the tip of this moonstone Well, here. hello Doug. Outside of two of Swash, but inside of three. <laughs> so I'm gonna spend one energy to try and dig that moonstone up. Get us See what happens. Da -da. One, he's got it. Nice. Then, I'm going to spend my other energy to try and punch you in the face. So how many cards are you both So want? melee four, I'm attacking, so six cards for me. And five cards for Swash. Lovely. Right, I'll go with that. And I'm going to play that one there. Cool. I've done a thrust. And I've done a high guard. Ooh, a thrust does nothing to a high guard. It does not. But it is piercing, so I can increase the damage dealt by one. So Swash will take one wound. Lovely. And because I'm spiteful, I heal one wound off the back of that. Ooh. Thanks to my lovely upgrade. Uh, somehow I managed to get like one of every card there, which is good because Swash doesn't let me do crits anyway. Yeah, Swash likes to be in the fight. Exactly. Um, takes him down to seven wounds. Lovely. That is Doug slash the Goblin King all done. So I'm next going to activate the new member of my scurvy crew. Krusty is going to go... Again, really simple activation for him. He's literally just going to take his jog and then he's going to take four steps to start circling around that moonstone. And I'll just do a quick reaction with the tax collector and just step an inch closer to my king, my liege. Time for Herbert to go and be an annoying little butterfly as he is. Uh, he's going to spend two energy straight away to do passage of the seasons uh, so i can place him within a target wooden patch within 10 inches so whoop, as long as he's in one which he is because i followed the rules <laughs> uh, so he's going to place just there inside that one so i'll do a casual swap to here then he's going to be even more annoying and i'm going to spend another two to try and do verdant growth and create another wooden patch so i've got four cards i'm looking for a green of any kind I will do a green two. Oh. I believe you. It's a good job you did believe me because I was 100% telling the truth on that one. So I'm gonna put it in a really nice place for both of us. Not really, just a horrible place for you. I'm gonna put it there to annoy you. I'm gonna put a tiny sprout of mushrooms on top of it. Oh do, 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 man, do, 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 stop because... blocking my road. No, now you can step onto those, you just can't jog onto those. Uh, but I'm just going to make it a bit more annoying. That is Herbert. All done. We'll get around them. Monkey will take a reactionary step at the end of that activation as well and cool. just come forward that little bit more. Lovely. So we're going to go with Swiggity for my last activation. So Swiggity's brought with him his trusty shovel. So that basically means he's going to spend one energy to harvest that level two moonstone because he's going to get plus one for his harvest actions. He's then going to take his jog two, three steps just to bring himself up into the thicker things a little more for next turn. Herbert shakes in anticipation yeah. now. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely going to be yeah. kidnapped. Uh, lastly, it's the mortician for me. Uh, he's going to do a jog. I'm not going to go to full form. I'm, not. I'm going to go a little bit forwards, but still very wary of that giant troll with a cannon no, all the way over there. He's fine. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I'm going to spend two to try and heal up the tax collector. She needs it. She needs it, yeah. Um, so I am looking for a blue of anything. I'm arcane four, so I get four cards. Immediately before I do this, because of my troll knuckles, I can reveal the top card of the deck, though. And if it's a catastrophe, I'll suffer it. If not, I get to keep it. It's a blue oh. two. Oh! I will keep that. Yes! And blue two. Hmm. Thanks, I'll play a catastrophe. I do <laughs> believe you. You do believe me. Well, Dave. You were right to believe me. Can you because show me the rest of your hand? And why yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was important to you. Yeah. Roll knuckles, save it again. So healing the tax collector back up to her full wounds because that would heal her for three and she'd only suffer two. I've got one energy left, but I'm quite happy where I am. 
Uh, but I believe you've got a reaction. Yeah, we'll just take a little bit of a step with Ribald for that last energy that he's got in his hand. Just to come over here a bit. I want to get him in the middle of the board so he has more targets to shoot at. That plug is going to be paced. Yep, <laughs> yep. End of turn one. And here's how it stands after turn one. So I'm currently sat on three Moonstones to your two. To my two. I can take that for yeah. this point in the game. That's two fine. Two for grabs surrounded by four of your pirates and one yeah. more to play. <laughs> the scurvy crew has amassed around El Capitano, receiving yeah. that additional energy um, from his aura. Yeah, so. well worth doing. So it's time for the roll off. You've got plus two to this for early bird. Come I on, don't. numbers. Three. To my four, so I get six back. to three. Lovely, so first activation of turn two will be the pirates. I wonder who's gonna go. Mm. So first activation of this second turn, we gotta go with the ribald. No. The cannon has to take its shot. You don't have to. He does have to. Go with the monkey. So at the start of my activation with ribald, I'm gonna play my campaign card, ducks in a barrel. So that basically means one arcane attack every turn. I'm going to get an additional two arcane cards. So I am going to use that during the course of this activation, probably. Yeah, probably. Probably. Certainly. Certainly. <laughs> Ribol will take his jog. And after his jog, I think Doe's yeah, going to make okay. a little step away. I'm going to react. I'll use a nice stepper since you've been using them rather than eyeballing. So I'll step away once to there. But that does still mean you are in that range eight. Yeah. So Ribol's going to take his shot now. The green card three likes me, Chris. It does, doesn't it? It does. So I'm going to play a card. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you that is a green three. Okay. Well, and what would this do damage wise? So damage wise, this would do three X minus one. So it would do eight damage of the impact variety. Okay. I just went wide. <laughs> then I'll call a bluff. Nope. Yeah. It would have killed me anyway. Uh, yeah. Bye, Doug. Uh, Bye, Doug. I'd drop a moonstone. Where would That's you like insane. it? Even his armor oh. can't reduce it enough. It would reduce it one. But not quite enough. Mm. That is just insane. That is the power of the cannon. No. The cannon is the best bye attack bye. in the game for me. Bye bye. Um, I love the bye cannon. Bye. So good. You got one energy left? One energy left. I'm just going to keep hold of it just in case I need to reposition Ribald during the course of the turn. Well, Herbert's just uh, turned his white trousers brown seeing that. Um, <laughs> He well, can't pick up the Moonstone because there's a giant crab with a melee range on it, so he's, he's going to go full attack mode. <laughs> I don't think he's ever done. Come on, your fairy Where's ass. So, Somewhere Tom Green Ray just had like a shiver down his <laughs> <laughs> uh, So I've spent one energy there just to step one to get me within the melee range of the pirate captain. Bring it on. Uh, and then I'm going to take my first swing at him. So I'm melee three, I'm attacking, so five cards. Outside of Krusty as well. Yeah. Yeah, no crusty. No, no crown no in crusty. I'm going to play that. And I will go with that one. Cool. I did a rising attack. As did I. Ooh. Ooh, rising attack on rising attack is one each. One each. Do you get any benefits for slicing or impact or piercing? I, uh, I do. I get an additional plus one for slicing, which cool. I will take. So Are you I'll do sure two. you can do piercing? Okay, so you do two to me, I do one magic damage to you. Yeah. Look at all my other cards. High guard, low guard, high guard, low guard. Knocks you both down to you. I'm down to four. Uh, to my six left. Lovely. So then, I'll hit you again, because why not? So this time, I'll do this. And I will do this one. Rising attack. Low guard. Uh, double rising attack. Makes no odds. Do you want to counter me? Yeah, I'll counter you back with a falling swing. Oh, falling swing to a rising attack does. So a falling swing into a rising attack. We'll do zero damage, but it is slicing. So I'll get the plus one. So okay, I'll do okay. one back. Takes me down to three. So I'll just do one last attack on you then. Here we go. Okay, so I'll do one of those. And I'm going to go with that one. Rising attack. Falling swing! Uh, double rising attack. So against the falling swing, that's one damage up to two because I critted. Mm -hmm. And, and you're I'm gonna... not going to do anything against the falling swing. It's zero plus one though because it's No, you're going to do three against my rising attack. Oh, sorry. Yep, yeah, reading the wrong card. Yeah. So uh, you're going to kill me. Yeah, so it'll do four. Another successful round of melee for Herbert. Capitano took two, not two. Two, yeah, two. taking him down to four. Brilliant. That is Herbert all done. 
Okay, so after that bloodbath, I think we finally need to go and get some stones. Uh, let's start scoring some points. Cap oh, Capitano is going to go. He's literally just going to take his jog and circumnavigate those shrubberies. Spend three to pick that one up. And then he's going to spend another one to take our shot. I draw my cards. Shabaroon. Uh, yeah, Shabaroon's his target. Um... You've got six and I've only got two because of your evade steps. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm just going to not play anything. Okay, a safe bet. A there, safe bet, you? yeah. I don't want to risk it because there's every chance. I mean, I only have one green. Oh, <laughs> well, you know, well a safe bet. But anyway, a that warning, is what it is. A warning shot. Yeah. Time for Shabaroon to go and do some goblin mischief because what can go wrong? So two energy for this. And let's flip the cards and see what happens. Tom's trying not to laugh oh, in anticipation. Who are you going with first? Tax collector. Green, one. He will, she will take that, so she gets one energy. Yay. Goblin King. Pink, two. That's just one energy, but that's fine. Mortician. Yeah. Oh, there it is. There the was one, at least one had to be. The one I didn't want. I don't think you deserve that after the turn you've had oh, this far, Chris. fine. So Mortician suffers two, goes down to five wounds, and Shabaroon himself. Green, one. Puts him up to three. Right, Shabaroon will try and transcombobulate the Mortician just to um, restore what damage has just been done. So, seven cards. I am looking for a blue three or a pink three. So, I will play a blue three. You are a baby. Really? I think so. I'm an honest oh, man. Flipping so it. I can restore all wounds and all energy of the mortician and else. place him anywhere within six. No, I don't want to teleport anyone else. <laughs> I had no other card. That's a good thing because I maybe had one of those threes. Yeah. I will just bring the mortician a little bit forwards. Uh, he only has two energy anyway, so he'll just stick with those, but it just gave him a nice little heal. So that is Shabaroon all done. So I'm going to activate Powder Monkey now, and this is the way with my Moonstone activations. It's either all or nothing. There's chaos going on, or it's just a nice, simple jog, step, 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 and spend a one to grab that stone. Now, unfortunately, David, you've come under the scrutiny of HM Revenue and ah! Customs, so it's time for the tax collector to go. But so she will. He's a monkey. He doesn't have any taxable here. income. Well, he should have declared it at Customs when he came in. <laughs> Uh, I'll move up to there. I will do income tax on you, which means you cannot jog, step, or react until the end of the turn. What? You, you can pay me an energy to stop this. I don't have any to pay you. Then you can just stay there. Then I will spend three to get a tax rebate off you. So you move X plus two towards me, where X is the number of moonstones you've got. So two plus two equals four, which will move you to here. Mm. Now I do have one energy left, but I only have a melee range of one. I don't really want to step any closer to you, so I will just sit on that. Can and that will do for the tax collector. Can the monkey declare bankruptcy before anything bad happens to him? Unfortunately, solvency isn't an option in this case. <laughs> Offshore account. So we're going to go with Swash, and he is going to go and chase after his monkey. So he's going to take a jog and a step, and then he's going to fire his gun to stop some shenanigans. He's going to play a green three shooting at the Goblin King. Green three? Uh, green one, sorry. I'm glad you changed yeah, your mind. Yeah, sorry, there, apologies. I'm glad you changed I'm your so mind. I'm so used to saying green three. <laughs> Can't help it, it's uh, a green one. Because it definitely isn't the green it's three. It's not the green three. I will let you have a green one. Oh, you can okay. shoot two damage off the king. No, you know what? The king will pass that on to the mortician. The king doesn't suffer damage, that's for peasants. No worries, so it's two damage. Two damage onto the mortician, taking him down to five. So the king is gonna go now. <laughs> All hail the king. He spotted the monkey. Uh, and he's gonna jog and step once to get to there. Which gets him inside of two of the monkey, but outside of the monkey's range. <gasps> then I will take one swing at aforementioned monkey with my melee of three plus two cards for attacking gives me five cards. Against my three. Brilliant, and I will play this card right here. I'm gonna go with that one. You're gonna perfectly counter me again. Rising attack. Hi, God. Ooh, 
a rising attack into a high guard does two, two damage. damage. I will change that to impact to do plus two to make it four, but Ouch. I'm a weakling, so it's minus one, so three. Three damage, takes the monkey down to four wounds left. Brilliant, that's what I wanted to that hear. That was a great melee swing. Solid bonk. So then I will spend two to say, oi, HM Revenue and Customs, go and do your job. And I will rule the roost, knock two wounds off her. To take it down to five, give her two energy, and she gets to reactivate immediately. The primate does not like this. No, so she will just step, jog, sorry, ever closer, just to get in melee range of you. And she will take the first swing at you. So, because you're a benefit fraud, who's been <laughs> hiding these moves things from the king, uh, basically- The limp is legitimate. She's, she's got a bit of friscal stimulus. So because you've got moonstones, I get plus X melee stats. So you've got two moonstones, so I get plus two melee, which means I'm up to melee five. Uh, seven cards for attacking. Ouch. And I reduce all melee damage by X as well. So I'll reduce any damage you do back to me by two. No way. And I'm crowding you out with the king to knock one card off you as well. Man, I've only got the two. Versus my seven. Oh, so mate. I will. I'll do one of these. And I'll do that. Lovely. Sweeping cuts. High guard. Ooh, it does nothing. I'm gonna upgrade it to a double sweeping cut. Well, in that case, I'm gonna hit you again. Ugh. So, I'm gonna go with this one. Come on, monkey, you can swing out of the way. We'll play with that one. Sweeping cut again. You're gonna block it again, aren't you? Oh, Lord God. Oh, so nothing, block it. nothing. I had three sweeping cuts this time. I need to stop trying to upgrade these attacks. Yay, the monkey! Right, one final swing at you. Let's see how this one goes. Okay, last attack, and we'll go with this. And the monkey is gonna pin all his hopes on that one. Tell me it's a low guard. It is a low guard. Ah, <laughs> Double rising attack. I keep getting one of every guard. Go, Fine. monkey. Go, monkey. Go, monkey. Oh, he can count it. He can we will count play it. the falling swing as Lovely. the counter. So, a falling swing into a rising, rising attack. attack. Does three, three damage. damage. Ooh, I'll reduce that by two because you've got moonstones. moonstones yeah. So, I'll take one damage back, knocking me down to four health. That was good, monkey. You defeated HM Revenue and Customs. Uh, that's the end of the Goblin King slash tax collector's turn. He really threw a banana skin in the works there. So we're going to activate Swiggity Sweety now, and he's going to try and get himself yet another Moonstone. So he's going to take his jog action with a step. He's going to dig twice because of his shovel, even though it's a step three stone, he gets it straight away. And he's just going to take one additional step to get into that thick of things that's over that way. Just the mortician left to go for me then. He's going to jog forward slightly. He's always slow, always slow. Every day he's shuffling. He'll go to there so he can see the tax collector and he'll spend two to try and heal her. He'll use the troll knuckles, see what the top card is. It's a green three, I'll keep that. And then I will play. Play the right card this time though. Uh, blue two. I will take your word for that. Okay, it's a good job you did because I was not lying, that was a blue two. So that'll heal the tax collector for three, which puts her back on full seven wounds and mortician's all done. So, last activation of this turn, we're going to go with Krusty Balboa. He wants into the thicker things. He wants to start pinching those moonstones off people as well. He's just going to take his job to come around here, and he's going to step four times to be in position for the start of the next turn, where he can start to cause some mayhem. Lovely. And here's how we stand at the end of turn two, currently 5-2 to the Pirates. I would like to say that was a slightly... Better turn for the pirates. We did some damage and yeah. hurt some people. I think you hurt yourself as well yeah, a little would have bit during the process. I've remembered that the tax collector doesn't want to hurt people. I just want to get off my signature. I steal moonstones, but that's a lesson for the future, that it one. Is. Make a note. Yeah. Mortician's got a bit extra energy this turn because I've got two dead models, so he's happy. And um, the captain's still going out some extra energy because all of his goblin pirates are still within four of him. Very tactical positioning. So we'll do the roll off. You get plus one this time. Come on, big numbers. Six. Six as well. Whoa. It's a tie, we re-roll. So we re-roll. Re -roll. Six, Six again. Seven. But oh. I get the plus one. You so do. seven for me it means I'm gonna go first in turn three. Yay! So first activation here of turn three, I think Swash is gonna go in and have a bit of 
stabby stabby at his royal highness. He's got something against nobles, hasn't he? He does indeed, so it does mean I'm gonna get a little bit extra out of these attacks. So he's just gonna take a quick jog, so he's within range. Yeah. And he's gonna make his first attack. His first attack is gonna be one of those. Oh, I'm gonna do one of those then. So I will do a rising attack. As will I. Oh. Ooh. And I've got a second one to play into it. So my rising attack is gonna be two plus one for it being a slicing, plus one for you're a noble. So he's gonna do four to you. Yeah. Four, and I can't pass it off to anyone because you ignore it. Because of my enchanted weapon. Exactly, mine's one back to you, but I'm gonna make it impact to make it three, but I'm a weakling, so it's down to two. Okay, so, so that four off me, leaves me on three. And leaves Swash on five. E. So, Swash is going to spend another energy to make a second attack at the Goblin King. He's going to go with that one on this turn. And I'm going with that one. <laughs> so, Dog. Yeah. Dog. 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 I'm going to play a forward swing. Rising attack. So, my forward swing into your rising attack deals three, plus one because you're a noble. And slicing. it is slicing, so another plus one. Um, so that means I'm gonna do five total. That'll kill me, I only had three left. So mine's one up to three, down to two again. Shame I can't crit, because all my cards were rising attacks. Oh. So Swash goes down to... Uh, sorry, was it two? Uh, two in total in the end, yeah. Yeah, so he goes down to three, so okay. it was a successful round of combat, but not without its downsides. So the Goblin King had two stones. Now the tax collector's nearby, so I'm gonna take the inheritance tax, and she gets to place one of them in base contact with herself on a depth of one. Where would you like the other one? I'll put the other one in base contact with Swash, please, sir. Base contact with Swash. Oh or, no! Or me yeah, sorry, close base to contact. Swash. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah, Swash doesn't have tax. No, <laughs> tax there is skills. no tax there. <laughs> How much energy has he got left? Uh, he has got one left after that attack. Um, so with his one, he will just take a step into base contact with that Moonstone and guide Ooh. it with his two-inch range. Time for the tax collector to go. No. So I'm going to look at the monkey first and make you pay the income tax. So you either give me. X energy, so which would be two energy, or the monkey can't move for the rest of the turn. The monkey's gonna stay put and keep hold of his energy and hope for the best. Okay, you cannot move, you cannot react, you cannot go anywhere. Well, in that case, Eek. I'm gonna swing at you. So I'm down to six cards now, because I'm crowded out, even though I get my plus two for you having the moonstones. And I've got my three. Lovely, and we will go with, how much health it got left? Uh, the monkey has four left. Ooh, okay, I'm gonna go with that. And I'll go with that one. Lovely. High guard. Also a high guard. Ooh, I will upgrade mine to pay up. So if I wasn't what? slain, I can take possession of one moonstone spent by the enemy. You can spend an energy to cancel that effect though. I will do that. Okay, I get that energy. Oh. And I will use it to hit you again. What? She's so good. <laughs> She's, She's amazing, so isn't she? Good. <laughs> So six cards again, and I will go with that. I will play that one. Okay. High guard. Low guard. Okay, well, pay me an energy. I'll, I'll give you a moonstone. I will pay you an energy. Okay, I'll spend that energy to hit you again. So I will trigger my... Um, Signature move, Your signature. couldn't find a word then. Um, so I can move away by an inch after the you... end combat is resolved. Ah, okay. Um, can so... you move even though you've been frozen? Is it a react? It's What's not a react, it just literally says move this character one. You can't jog, step or take react, so you can still move one as long as it's not one of those. Cool. Yeah. So well, I'll, just come a little bit I'll spend around. the energy you gave me to move to one and in. then I'll swing at you again. Mm -hmm. da, 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 da. Right then. Let's go with one of them. Oh, I'll play that one. Okay. Hi, guard, Dave. Ah, oh, man. Low guard, Chris. Give me your stone. You may have one of my stones. Thank you very much. And I will take another step away for triggering my signature move. Brilliant. I'll just sit on my one energy after that and stay where I am. And that is the end of the tax collector. So, 
Krusty is going to go and he's going to try and steal a stone. So he's going to make his jot action to come to here first yeah. and then pick up that stone for one. Cool. I'm going to react with the tax collector. I'm going to step two this way. I believe that was one of your energies there. That is. I'll just come here. Hello, take that tax stone. collector. Welcome to my claws. <laughs> you so don't have authority for this stone. <laughs> exactly. I decree. So I am then going to try and pinch that one stone that the tax collectors has. Cool. Um, so I'm looking for a three of any color with this one. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you that is a green three. I'm going to say you're bluffing. Uh, I am bluffing. Oh, oh what does catastrophe do? So the catastrophe would suffer me three wounds. Well, you can have oh, one. Oh, man. Chris, the I, 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 I had concrete. to try it. You had to. Uh, I had the blue three. Um, so I was hoping you'd blag that one. I know, right? I had to pick one. You can't it fool one of them. revenues and customs. No, you no can't get anything past them. them. They scour the books How looking for inconsistency. That cost you? So that cost me two power. So I've just got the one left. It yep. takes me down to six wounds after that e catastrophe, which wasn't great. Um, then he'll just make a straight up melee attack against the tax collector again. Um, Space either side of the fight, okay. I am gonna play that one. Play that one. Oh, is this a high guard? Maybe. It's a thrust. It's a high guard. Um, so it's gonna deal zero. I do have two thrusts, so yep. zero, zero. Yeah. Um, but if I deal impact melee damage, increase the damage by plus one, which it isn't, so I'm gonna do nothing to you. And I'm still alive at the end of that, so give me that moonstone you just picked up. What? I'm upgrading my high guard to my signature move. Pay the tithe, you peasant. Damn it. You may have it back. Mortician is gonna go. He's quite happy with the um, tax collector's services there, so he's gonna go and do his own little thing. He'll jog on over here. He's always slow, always shuffling. And then he'll spend three to try and reanimate and bring someone back from the dead. So I need a two of anything. So I'll just do a green two. Yeah, you've got a green two. Oh, yeah, I have got a green two. Look, I'm not showing Dave it's a green two, but it definitely is. So I'll bring back Doug on half his wounds. Oh, you coming. Here. Engaging your pirate boy. What? Uh, Doug's got no energy, unfortunately, but you know. Could be a lot worse. Then the mortician will just spend one to step back behind the barrel a little bit. And that's him done. So I'm gonna go with the big lad. Uh, Ribble's gonna go and fire his cannon. Yay. He doesn't like that Doug's come back. <laughs> um, he's gonna try and blow his ass off the board. So he's going to take his standard jug there to put him in range of Doug. Yeah. And he's going to fire the cannon. And I am going to tell you that this is once again a green three. It probably is, but I'm going to say bluff. It is it a is. green three. I have the blue and the pink three. Jeez. So that basically means it's three X, uh, less one impact damage. Yeah, um, he only had four health. He's gone again. Yeah, he's gone again. It was short but sweet. But Do because you got my bluff, who else is in range? I am going to tell you, and I'm going to shoot the mortician yeah, who's okay. also in range. Okay. That's a green two, is that, Chris? Ooh, so that would do six damage. It, no, three X minus one, so it'd be five. Uh, oh, that would kill me. Yeah. <laughs> so bluff. Oh. No. Nope. Yeah. I'm really sorry. Yep. Yeah. Ugh. Is Shabba rude? No. No, 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 there's no one else. I'm not that no. lucky. Wow. Um, Ribald's giant gun makes mince me of your little goblins. I am really sorry. That's the end of the turn. Well, I've only got Shabba Rune left to go after that wonderful ricocheting cannonball. Oh, I think <laughs> he's brutal. Gonna... Some say it's still bouncing. I know. <laughs> he's going to jog over here. And he's going to spend two energy to give uh, Krusty a little bit of goblin look. Target enemy or goblin. What are you looking for? Any three. So blue three. You, there was hesitation within your voice there. There was there, no hesitation. There, there was definitely Utter confidence. There was definitely a slight stuttering call crack. Him, call him. I'll let you have it. Oh. Will you let me have yeah, it? Yeah, I'll let you have the it. The right choice because there was nothing but confidence. So I'll make you suffer 
one catastrophe printed on your card. The one where you suffer three wounds, please. Okay, no worries. I will take that. I'm taking Krusty Balboa down to three wounds remaining. Then I'll do it again. What? Looking for a three of anything still? Yeah. I will once again ask for your blue three. Uh, no. <laughs> I'm going to die no matter what, but I want you to hit something else. It's only a catastrophe. It's only a catastrophe. What's, uh, what's, uh, catastrophe? what's Exactly, that's right. I'm just quickly sure looking at other catastrophes that could hurt and impede me. You could kill Swash because his capacity is suffering three wounds as well. Mm. So I am going to sacrifice the crab to the boiling pot of water and let you have it. Absolutely the right decision because once again, I was not lying. I had the green three and the pink three. Oh, it did, yeah. yeah. So I was like, mm. Well, good job. You didn't bluff and I tried to do it again. So it's Christy off the board, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, that will do for Shabaroon then. Okay, we're going to go with Sweetie Sweetie. He feels like he's missing out on all that chaos in there, so he's going to take his jog action as well as three steps. Um, with his last energy, he's going to shoot his pistol. Um, he doesn't like the fact that the tax collector is stealing all the stones off everybody. Doesn't like the establishment. He's not. He's anti-establishment. Um, I'm going to play a green three. <laughs> no way. I'm going to play a green three. No that way. That is a green three. Oh, that is a green three. Oh, Every day it's of the week. Be. That's oh. a green three plus one, which is four impact Ow. damage to the tax collector. Uh, three wounds left. Three wounds left. That one, Chris. You had two cards. How? That one, Chris, is a green two as well. Bluff, but it's going to be. It is indeed going to be. Oh, so I'll do another three damage to the tax God. collector. She's dead. Which kills it, which was the best hand I could possibly hard. have during that round of shooting. Um, Wonderful. Wondrous. So that's the end of Swiggity Sweetie's activation. Um, he did well. Okay, my last activation has turned. Chris, you're all out. I am all out, You've got nothing left. I'm going to have to go twice in a row. You killed it all. I'm sorry, Pat. Some of it twice. I'm so sorry. Some of it twice, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go with the captain. He's going to reload his pistol for the two that he's got. Then he's going to take his jaw action, bring him around the here. I'm then going to activate the powder monkey. Powder monkey can't move. Can't he's no move. energy. So he's just going to activate. And then straight away, end his activation. Love and that's for the end of the turn. So going into the last turn, turn four, this is the state of the board as it stands. Um, I've got four stones to your... Zero. Oh, and there's three stones up for grabs on the board. You have only got Shaboom Boom left. Yeah, oh. it was a nice little weakling. Yeah, so it's going to be a tricky final turn for Chris. Um, it's if I can mop up those stones and maximise my scoring. Um, let's roll the dice. See who's you going got to go no first. Benefits. No benefit this time. Three to a five. So I am going to go first. Um, let's see what happens. Okay, first activation of turn four. Um, the dawn is drawing in. We're gonna go with Ribald, um, try and shoot his mighty cannon down. This literally done the legwork in the entire <laughs> game. Just deletes one model per so turn. So he's gonna jog, two. he's gonna step yep. for one, then he's gonna spend his two to shoot his cannon. This Christopher isn't a green three. It's just a green one. Oh, I believe you. You believe me? I so believe that means you. I am going to do three damage minus one. So just the two. Two, it leaves me on four health. It's nowhere near as effective when you've not got that green three in your hand. It's the light kind of mm. yeah, no, just, I mean, just, I didn't have any greens in my oh, hand. So, so I could have left it. Um, but we'll, we'll take it as what it is. I still think I've got the numbers to make it count. Cool. I've just got Shabaroon to go, really, and that's it. So he's going to jog four. To the other side of this, spend two energy to pick it up because he's a weak link, and I would like one moonstone. Uh, and then I'm going to spend two energy to try and give you a little bit of goblin look. So I'm looking for a three of any kind. What you got? None of them, Dave. So I'm not going to do it. You're not going to do it. No, oh man! I'm not going to. Whatever three I say, I reckon you'll have it. If I would have said. Blue three, would you have had it? No, I didn't oh, have any of them. You no. well could have, I was no literally trees. gonna let you have it. Oh, I was gonna let well. you have it. He's fine, he's got his stone. Okay, so Swash is gonna come in now and try and uh, 
clear the decks. <laughs> um, so he's going to quickly take his jog action, and he's going to spend one to make a melee attack against Shaboomoom. Lovely. I've got a mighty seven cards in my melee. I've got one. So which one are you playing, Chris? That one. And I'm going to play this one here. Cool. I'm going to do a thrust. Sweeping cut. <laughs> Perfectly counters Whoa, your thrust. Oh, nice. But I have nothing else nothing to play. Nothing else to play, and so. I'm outside of your melee range, so I can't you hurt are. you. So we'll try again with a second attack. Shaboom Boom may stick around. Uh, I'm going to play. I'm going to play this one. I'm going to play. You're sucking guess at it now. <laughs> that one again. Thrust. Also a thrust. Oof. But I will double thrust it. Beautiful. Um, so I'm going to do six damage total. Ugh. That will absolutely kill me. I only had four left. So I'm guessing, do you want that close to Swash or somewhere else? Yeah, yeah, there is just about grand. Cool. How many are you going to do back to Swash though? Nothing. I'm outside of one inch. Oh, of her. course. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So that is Swash's activation over and done with. Let's grab those stones. So it's definitely still my activation because you've got nothing left on the board. <laughs> um, for all your number crunching and calculations, it doesn't seem to have panned out your way. Uh, Powder Monkey's gonna go, he's gonna take his jaw action, spend those two to grab those two stones. And then I'm just gonna straight away follow that up with Swiggity Swiggity. He's gonna take two jogs, spend a one to get a stone with his trusty shovel. That's the end of the game. Good game, sir. Good game, sir. Um, that went far better than what one anticipated. <laughs> we'll go to the post-match wrap up now. Well, that didn't well, go so well for you, Chris. The hook's disappeared off your hand because yeah, it's I, I, firmly been inserted up me. Yeah. <laughs> ah, <laughs> the way I feel right now. I, I uh, feel it'd be rubbing it in to gloat. The gloat, man, gloat is what happens. I do as much damage to myself as, well, not that game, I so you did a lot to me that game. Yeah, dude, I mean, it was one of those games, it was really brutal. Yeah. Um, Ribald, Cannon, and my uncanny ability to draw the green three. Yeah, it's almost as part. good as my ability to draw catastrophes. Uh, yeah, I mean, it was one of those games. I think the Pirates beauty upgrade, the fact that I just yeah. jogged as normal when I had yeah. the stones made a big difference, allowed me to get over the board yeah. and start damaging you real quick. Um, it was a little bit of a bloodbath. Man of the match for you? Um, Ribald, obviously Ribald. it's got to be, hasn't it? He just blew yeah. people off the board, <laughs> no, <laughs> willy-nilly, he, he did not care. Yeah. Uh, that kind of all flew. Yeah, the tax collector for me is amazing, what a great new model she is. The way she pinned the monkey <laughs> yeah. in his place, stole the moonstones back, and she kind of nearly swung it at the end. It was, it looked like it was going towards you, yeah. and then obviously there was a big activation from Ribald that sort of swung I the game think. in my favour. I think the way things stand now, you're only the chance of winning this. I think I am, yeah. I think I'm pretty close. Yeah, yeah. Well, you or Courtney have to do to each other what Dave just did to me, Jeez. basically. So um, I didn't expect to be at that point at the end of the game. Yeah, I didn't Unless expect you to. Be the the day. Day. <laughs> like, let's just take it as what it is. So once again, thanks for watching. Uh, Leave a comment on the leaf. Come play Moonstone. Why aren't you playing it? It's it an amazing multi -award game. Multi-award winning. Multi-award winning. Like the same award twice from four different people. <laughs> but that's multi-awards. <laughs> um, but don't forget to watch the last game as well with Tom and Courtney to see how this pans out because it's literally anyone's game now. It's, 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 I'm going to win. Mm, no, I hope not. I hope not. But I also hope not Courtney. I'm not saying I want Tom to win, Thanks, but by, <laughs> <laughs> by process of elimination, that's it. Courtney's chaos could come into play. Yeah, possibly, you possibly. never know. All right, thanks again. See you soon. See you guys. Bye. Well, a massive thank you for watching that video, guys. We really hope you enjoyed it. If you want to find some more, they should be over here. And if you want to support the channel and the content that we create here, there's links to our Patreon and merchandise in the description below. Take care.